Quantum Mechanics offers the opportunity to radically rethink the design principles for engineering and that has a particular impact in information processing. So for example, you can build a computer with a power to do well beyond what any current or even future generation supercomputer could possibly deliver. Quantum Technologies is a, a really global opportunity and the UK aims to be a world leader in that emerging technology sector. What we've done is to invest in four quantum technology hubs that bring together academic, industrial and government partners that are going to lay the groundwork for that right here in the UK. The Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, or EPSRC for short, is the government's main agency for funding research across all aspects of engineering and physical sciences. We're really excited about being involved in this Quantum Technology Hubs initiative. But we have a really exciting possibility of taking basic physics and turning it into working technology for the benefit of the UK. The grand vision of this hub is to develop new quantum communications technologies that will reach new markets, enabling widespread use and adoption in many scenarios. Our strategy is to take already proven concepts such as quantum key distribution, so-called QKD systems, and advance these to a widespread commercialization ready stage. We will also advance new directions and applications to develop prototype next generation quantum communications technologies. The hub in sensors and metrology harnesses the quantum properties of cold and thermal atoms as well as ions. We are building on proven laboratory concepts to create ultra-precise sensors for gravity, magnetic fields, rotation, time and light. We are working with engineers and industry to develop breakthrough concepts for novel applications in areas such as energy, climate, healthcare, sustainable cities or financial trading. Quantum technologies will create cameras to transform imaging. Quantum-inspired focal plane arrays and single-pixel cameras form images at wavelengths where existing technology is unobtainable. This allows visualization of gas leaks or looking through fog and smoke. Adding timing resolution to these cameras gives 3D ranging and the post-selection of photons gives imaging where the direct line of sight is blocked. We have partnered with SMEs and multinationals throughout the UK and will drive exploitation through joint industry projects. The Oxford-led hub is called NKIT, Networked Quantum Information Technologies. Our approach is to develop small matter systems that are processors and link them together photonically. With this paradigm, we can deliver a whole range of systems, from computing through to simulation, sensing, and of course, communication. In order to meet those goals, we built a remarkable partnership. And together, this is exactly the right partnership to deliver our technology goals that range from about 18 months from now through to five years. And at the five-year point, we have this Q2020 device, remarkably ambitious, but I think important target. So the Q2020 device, is simply 20 processors linked together, each of which containing 20 qubits. This grid of units will be a demonstration of a unit of a very powerful machine, the universal, fully scalable quantum computer. To build a quantum computer, one needs not only very well isolated qubits, one needs to be able to control those qubits with extremely high precision. Otherwise, the quantum computer won't work. So what we've done here in the Iron Trap Lab in Oxford, we've taken trapped ion qubits, which are the most stable and well-isolated quantum bits in existence, and we manipulate them with laser beams so that we can do quantum logic gates, which is the information processing at the heart of any quantum computer. What we're trying to do in the Photonics Lab is build the, uh, the switch yard, the optical connections that can allow us to build a network of these um, interconnected material qubits. Specifically what we do here is we have waveguides which are on chip and then uh, lots of interconnections come into the chip and are interfered together and we can switch between multiple different outputs in order to decide which connections to make in the Quantum 2020 machine. So a crucial part of the Q2020 architecture is being able to detect the single photons with incredibly high efficiency. So in this lab, we're using a commercial dilution refrigerator to cool down very thin pieces of metal until they become superconducting. And then we're able to exploit the superconductivity 
to detect these photons of incredibly high efficiency. And with this, we're able to link different parts of the iron cups together. The whole National Quantum Technologies programme is focused on industrial impact, and this brings two benefits to our hub. The first one is by having industrialists with us from the start, we can identify the new needs and opportunities. And the second is that by having them in our team, bringing particularly their resources, both from the industrialists and the government labs, we can meet these needs more quickly and get the technologies into commercial use. Our current list of commercial partners include companies in computing, consultancy and instrument manufacture. Oxford Instruments is a supplier of some of the key research tools that enable quantum technology development. So as an industrial partner, we're absolutely delighted to participate in the NKIT hub based at Oxford University. We'll be sponsoring PhD studentships and also supplying loan units for some of the key cryogenic instruments that will help to develop the next generation of quantum sensors. Quantum technologies offer a really exciting opportunity to change the way we think about and manipulate and use information. The UK is really well placed with these partnerships to be leading on the emergence of this new sector and we think it's going to have some fantastic benefit not only for the country but also for the world.